What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over Palantir. So ARK Invest bought the dip in a big way. They bought about 1.5 million shares. So we're going to go over exactly what I think that means for Palantir going forward. We're going to go over some of the key aspects of their earnings report, both good and bad. And we are going to go over some of the specific options plays that I am looking to get into for Palantir in the near future. So if you you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them so if we come over to the chart of Palantir we can see that it had an absolutely terrible day off the announcement of its Q4 and uh, year end 2020 earnings report. We saw the stock drop $4 going down 12, uh, almost 13% throughout the trading day and then going up a little bit with a little bounce after hours of about 21 cents or close to 1%. Now, last week, Palantir got a pretty substantial upgrade in their share price. It was about a 33% increase. If we come over here, we can see that Jefferies increased their price target of Palantir from the $30 price target to $40. And they mentioned some key reasons. If we come down a little bit further, Brent had cited Palantir's recent major deals along with survey data from hundreds of IT users. Phil also believes that the company has strong fundamentals in general general. In a research note, Phil pointed out that even if the current stock price has elevated expectations built in going into Q4, which is exactly what we saw, there are still longer term growth opportunities. So let's get into exactly what happened in Palantir's Q4 earnings. If we come over here, we can see that Palantir on Tuesday reported a loss for the fourth quarter while beating analyst uh, revenue expectations. So Palantir shares fell 12%. And here were the key numbers. Revenue was $312 million or $322 million versus the $300.7 million expected according to the survey of analysts. The loss per share was $0.08, cents, which was not comparable to the estimates. So basically what happened is that Palantir beat on revenue Missed on EPS and the stock went tumbling. In general, though, when we take a look at the actual numbers and the guidance that the company issued, it's pretty good in my opinion. So if we come down a little bit further, in the fourth quarter, Palantir said it closed 21 deals worth at least $5 million in total contract revenue, including 12 worth at least 10 million. New contracts in Q4 include those with the U.S. Army, U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and PG&E. All of these contracts we have covered on this channel. And Palantir said it expects to earn $4 billion in revenue in 2025. That is a massive growth expectation, and they anticipate the revenue growth of more than 30%. It expects revenue growth of 45% in the first quarter of the year, with a midpoint of revenue of being 330 2 million. That's higher than the refin, uh, refinitive analyst estimates of about 309 million in revenue for the first quarter. In a pre recorded video released on the company's earnings webcast, CEO Alex Karp emphasized the company's long term prospects. So, this quote from him We hope those of you on this call who are current investors stay with us, and those of you who prefer a more short term focus, that you choose companies that are more appropriate for you. So, he's basically saying saying that if you are in it for the long term, you have nothing to worry about, but he understands that the share price of the company is extremely volatile in the short term. And he is saying that uh, those individuals who are holding long term have nothing to worry about because they are coming out with new contracts, bringing new revenue almost every other week. Now let's get into this ARC situation. So ARC bought the dip in a very big way, buying almost $50 million worth of Palantir shares in one day. If we take a look at ARC's trading information on February 16th, ARC W bought Palantir. They bought 1.56 million shares of Palantir, making up a weight in the portfolio of about 0.49. So that's pretty insane. Uh, they really bought the dip on this company. And 
I was saying before that if we see a dip in Palantir, there are a lot of different strategies that you can use. So since we saw a massive dip, let's go over some of these strategies in detail. Now, if we come over to the options chain for Palantir, uh, we are going to be taking a look at the puts. So we can see that the implied volatility fell a little bit, but not too much. And the weeklies are still pretty expensive. If you want to own Palantir at a lower price, or if you want to collect some premium off of the cash balance that you have sitting in your account, you can sell these $25 strikes. These are weeklies and you would collect $68 in premium per contract that you sold. So selling puts is actually a bullish strategy. I saw a couple of comments on my last Palantir video and it seemed like a couple of you guys are confused. When you are selling puts, you are actually hoping the stock will go up. And if you sell calls, you are hoping the stock will go down. It is the complete opposite if you are buying puts or buying calls. When you buy puts, you hope the stock will go down. When you buy calls, you hope the stock will go up. So this is the first strategy. Uh, you can sell some of these puts. They are jacked up in value right now. Now we can see that they went up about 100% or more in value uh, throughout the day today. Now, Palantir went down 12, uh, almost 13%, and these contracts only going up 100% on such a massive move in share price. The reason why these contracts didn't shoot up 1,000%, 1,500% is because of this implied volatility, meaning that a large move in the Palantir share price was priced into the options chain. So pre-earnings, the contract contracts were more expensive throughout the entire option chain. Now, the next strategy that we are going to be talking about to use options to play Palantir is we're going to be buying some leaps. So if we come down, we're going to be looking at these January uh, 2022 contracts in these 60s fell about 23% in value today. If you are extremely bullish on Palantir going into the future and you think that it could have more uh, than a double in the next year, then you would want to buy these super deep out of the money contracts. Now, you you may not want to buy some of these contracts because the implied volatility is so high. The open interest is there. Uh, there is enough interest on this options chain to warrant buying some of these contracts. But if you look at some of these in the money contracts, you can get some contracts that are actually a steal. So if you take a look at this $15 strike, this is an in the money leap. So essentially what this enables you to do is buy 100 shares of a stock at a price lower than what the stock is currently trading at, but you are going to have to pay a significant premium in order to have this right. So in order to calculate the break even point where you would make some money on actually buying this contract, you would take the price that you would pay. So the last price for these $15 strikes is $15. You would add it to the strike price, another $15. Your break even for this trade would be $30. So if you see Palantir going to 40, 45, maybe even 50 by the end of this year in the first month of 2022, you could make a lot of money on these contracts. Now, this gives you a lot more leverage. You could essentially own the right and control 100 shares of Palantir uh, with a lot less money. So you would pay $1,500 dollars to control 100 shares of Palantir versus the almost $2,800 that you would have to spend if you were to actually own the shares outright at the current price that the stock is trading at. There really is only one risk with buying these in the money leaps, and that is that these contracts have an expiration date. So it is possible, it isn't probable, uh, that these contracts still could go to zero and you would lose your whole investment. Versus if you were to just buy the 100 shares of Palantir outright, you would uh, have no expiration date and you could hold these shares forever. But once January 21st, 2022 comes around, uh, you are going to have to make a decision if you want to exercise these contracts if you decide to purchase them. They are trading at a significant discount right now, and the break-even price is pretty close to the price that Palantir is currently trading at. And as we've seen with Palantir time and time again, if they get any piece of good news over the next couple of weeks, it could shoot up 10, 20, 25% in one trading day, going way past the break-even price of that of the contract that you paid. So we've talked about these types of strategies on NNDM and BioNanogenomics, and those two strategies 
both worked out very well. I think looking at the bio nano genomics play, if you were to have bought those contracts, the break even was around $9. So you're well past the break even if you decided to buy those contracts. So in general, I think that this is just a short term dip for Palantir. We do have the share lockup period expiring towards the end of the week, which could provide some more selling pressure in the stock, sending the stock a little bit lower. But I think a lot of investors are going to be willing to buy this dip. We saw it today with ARK Invest. They went absolutely insane buying 1.5 million shares of Palantir. So that's going to be it for this Palantir update. If you guys enjoyed the information that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. So I hope you guys are having a profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next video.